on your mark, get set, cool, whatever you could go. I'm see when I was a jump, gonna me. Come on, I feel to the party for sure. Now come on, how you feel, feel free. Hit, Hit the, the door. Nime come cool and happy. Come on, Steve, on tabanjuka kia sina. Kushuf, my damn, now my main is great. At the end of the night, kitandani ni sawa. CMB in the name of another words, nime tour. Mna jua mina kamua kamua makamuzi ya hali ya juu It doesn't matter what you do, just do what you do like me. I do what I do like I'm doing it for TV. Wengi wa majaribu but they can't touch, touch me. Na kuni fikia mimi ni unlikely. Mini younger version of Ramu. Ma dem wana ni penda ladies at all. Ma ji wana ni eat me. She die so early in siri the kagi. So early in the building and we about to turn it up. To the ceiling. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again to another episode of SOL, aka Syllabus of Life, and it shows truly Rap Excellency El Presidente Prezo. And I got my co host, Kamakawa Stephen Ogech in the building, Okipenda Oburu Ogechi Babu. So, yeah, don't, CEO Compact Records. Don't forget the CEO part. CEO Kamakawa Steve O. Yeah, <laughs> all day, every day. Maze. So, SOL, once again, yeah. like we said before, you know, us guys, we don't cap in anything, so mm. we're new to this thing. But the reason why um, SOL is here is yeah. to help, you know, people with mental health and everything. Right. Reason being, like, syllabus of life, um, we came up with it because we believe that most of the people who are yeah. suffering from mental health and... Mm and what have you are the younger generation. Yeah. And now because myself and you, yeah. like we've been through life. Been through so, you know, like we just want to walk everybody. We just want to navigate, be like the GPS. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's true. So we can tell them like, we see like a oh, um, hundred meters from now, turn right, turn right mm -hmm. because there's a pothole on your left. Crazy portal. Yeah. Swallow your yeah. Vehicle, you know? Here, stay in the middle. Slow down. There's a yeah. bump ahead. True say. Something like that. And you always, know? you know, I keep on telling these youngins, like, bro, stay on your lane. Yeah. Well, I'm, not, I'm not trying to cap no one, but yeah. I'm just yeah. saying, stay on your lane because mm -hmm. there's no traffic on your lane. Mm -hmm. And the fact that it's June, and you know, June is uh, Men's Mental Health Month. Mm -hmm. You know, we come straight with positive vibe. Na tuna wakilisha mazevi le inafama naki ukiangalia jo. Hey, we've been just soko ni chafu, Joe. Soko ni chafu, bro. Yeah, ni noma, but still, that's why we're here, bro. But that's I like what OG, you said. You know? I like what you said. Just repeat that again, Steve-O. You for, said... For, for June, June being the Men's Mental Health Month. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's got a lot of... Mm, 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 yeah, men's yeah, yeah. Mental Health Month. June. That's why we mm. say, like, yo, bro, let's set this thing straight. Let's come talk about one or two things. You've been through some serious relationship issues. My. I mean, same here. Yeah. Same as you and you and you, and you know, yeah. even the men behind the cameras have also been in some serious relationship the whole issues. Crew. Yeah. So any ni kusaidiana tu kucha kucha nuana kucha piana. Yeah. Na kumek things in the straight vile in a fire, you know. So you know, I'm actually glad like you know they they put like something for men. Yes. It doesn't matter what month it is, you know. Yes, at yes. least they they consider the men because you know the truth is. Mm. Like, men go through a lot out there. It's true, bro. You understand? Crazy. Crazy. And, you know, like, um, it doesn't matter, like, again, yeah. if you have more money than your man mm -hmm. and you're a woman mm -hmm. and you guys are for real in love, support that Maze. man because you don't know what he's capable of. I but mean, without, with, sorry to cut you short, without the support, yeah. There's no way that man is going to go. Imagine, Steve-O, you leave the house, right? And then say your woman has more cash than you. Yes. Okay? Yes. But you, you go out there and you try to make ends meet because yes. you're a man at yeah. the end of the day. Yes. You're not a gigolo or a jigger boy. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Or a beach boy, for exactly. lots of better words. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you come back, right? Yeah. After all that hustle... And then the lady still puts you down. It's crazy, bro. Like, I mean, I've been reading blogs lately. You know, I've been reading a lot of stuff going on, Maze. Mm -hmm. It's really stricken me heavy. You know, um say Nikarau, you know, mm -hmm. I think he's based at the industrial area. I think station. I saw. You saw I, that, right? Yeah, yeah the um, guy with the bun. Like the yeah. guy, 
he just went blind from the bands. Yeah. So what crime is this that this police officer had committed, bro? I'm sorry, how about you just break it down? You like know, what the whole, because I, I saw it. You saw it, right? Yeah. You know, I was just, you know, going through my Insta. I love when I come through this story. Uh, there's this cop who's been burnt, like I'll go and talk a job as a boy. So him is resting. Then the wife just comes and, you know, pours some chemical on his face. Mm. The guy burns Maze beyond recognition. Mm. Then the guy is running, you know, screaming for help. He's trying to walk out of that situation. He's stepping on the floor. I saw he was trying to even pour some water you know, to reduce the burns. Apparently, this chick had also, you know, put electricity, mm. wires in the floor. I mean, waga maji, umsali kanyaga chinivi, akanza kupigwa shock. You understand? Mm. So the guy was screaming, crying, and when he made the noise, you know, the, the call for alarm, mm. some of the cops who were his neighbors actually came and rescued the guy. And he's a mm. cop, bro. Mm. Why finally help her? So apparently he didn't die, but he went blind. He burned totally. Um censura, but still, you know, because our government gives on the PNP, the permanent yeah. and pensionable. Yeah, yeah. The guy's still working, but now yeah. Yeah. wife says he any normal bro. Yeah, bro, and you know, like um you know the funny thing is what's ironic, me I don't believe in coincidence, you yeah. know. It's all good. So you see like Ile the fact that you were mentioning about this guy's story, yeah, I saw that, bro. Hey, Nenoma, bro. And, and then you know, it reminded me of something you said to me some time back, you know. <laughs> and you know, this is S O L. Here we don't bro, cap, we you don't know. Cap. Here we we call a spade a spade. Yeah, man. One time you told me, you told me, brother, you know, I feel like you know these chicks that you're with, right? Yeah. They're toxic, bro. This is toxic love. Yeah, this is toxic love. And I'm like, what am I to do, bro? I mean, I'm not Romeo. Last time I checked, my name is Ngechu. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's the tone of my voice or something. Of course, bro. Like, but, you know, not to drift away from the topic. Yeah. And I stand to be corrected, bro. Like, yeah. you know, you have no reason to lie to me. Yeah. And whatever happened, number one, bro, mm. me, the bullet points to me with this story yeah. is he was a cop. Number two, the miyaki ndio limchezia hivo. So imagine, unjua kama ineza kumtokia ye, sembuse mimi. And you know, we actually not like trying to make it look like ati ni my boys peke yake. But we chose this today because of the issue of the uh, June being the men's mental health month. Yeah. Uh, so tukiongelea sana my boy, unajua, ato kicheki DJ Brownskin, all of a sudden, kuna charges and zina mkumba pale. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Apparently, yo kesi yote ime mlalia, bro, adi unashindua uwe. Yeah, na, it's, you know, sorry to cut you. Yeah. Unajue ile kitu inaumiza ni kwamba. Yeah. Every, like, the best part is he yeah. documented everything. Everything. But he, now, mm. he's being charged with, I don't know, um, failing to, you know. No, yeah. he's, he's actually, he aided a suicide. Apparently, mm. and then deleting evidence. Imagine, like the video he took, he deleted. So it's also against the law. Like, kwani wanaume bro, situ na pingwa tu. Yeah, left, right, and center. Hey, bro, sheria ina tugonga huku, mademo wana tugonga huku. Yeah, but, but, you know, like, um, I'd like us to be... Yeah. I'd like us to be open-minded. Like, yeah. you know, this is why I vied for, for MP-ship. Because mm -hmm. I want to bring change. You mm -hmm. see? I don't need anything from you guys, you know. You all don't need anything from me apart from good music, which yeah. I've chilled for a minute. You get your story and you come back now on toxicity, you get. Yeah. I love when I come back your story like on BNN, some yeah. time back. You know, you, mm. you, 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 you're romantic, maze. Yeah. When you love a boy, any. Romeo. <laughs> <laughs> you always, you always out here, maze, showing love and everything. And I never seen, you know, people dropping out some gifts for you. So when I was coming, Kakumbuka, eh, praise Junior my gifts na leon and kukana praise. Of course si ball pamoja ni ni nini. But yeah. somebody just told me like, yo bro, simna pigele show you leo. I'm like, yeah man. Mm. So uh, can you take this? I wasn't like sure. Mm. But Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, so bro, this is for you from Icon. How do you do? Icon Pale Wakanyambia? Oh, for real. Shout out to Icon. Shout out to Icon. But shout out to you for, for bringing it safely. Yeah, man. man. You know? yeah, so yeah, shout out to Icon, man. You know? Yeah. 
Bless, bless, bless up. I'll see you. You know, I thought you came bearing no gifts <laughs> for a minute. No, bro, but you know, once you poured the glass on the table, I was like, come on. And by the way, I don't know, is soda in any shama? Yeah, and soda here, we're just still with whiskey and cigars. I like the test, bro. Yeah. It's good, it's good test. So, brother, you know, like, um, let's not lose our train of thoughts. Like, yeah. um, ladies and gentlemen, like, you know, I hate to sound like a broken record, but you mm -hmm. see, this is a freestyle. Yeah. Us guys, we don't roll with no scripts or anything. Mm -hmm. Us guys, we want to be like those people who, who can vibe with you and yeah. those people who can navigate the younger generation because my brother here, he's a CEO, like anybody who hears like Compact Records, mm -hmm. that was my voice, right? Of course. Yeah, he's the CEO of Compact Records, you know, yeah. shout out to Gabu, they formed Compact Records together. Yeah. Yeah. But you see, now we're here, so whatever we talk about, and also me, I can have my flaws, mm -hmm. and you can have your flaws. Anyone can. Anyone can. You know? But then, you know, like all we want to move forward with is with SOL is like, we don't want you guys to go through the same flaws that we went through. Yeah. Okay, and that's why I said, like a safari rally, you know, like I'm the driver, he's the co-driver. Mm -hmm. He tells me like, yo, turn to your left, there's a big bump on the right. And we do it. And me as the driver, I have no choice but to do the same thing, you know, and you know how that thing goes, like yeah. turn to your left, you know, the bump on the right, you can't even hear them clearly. <laughs> But, you know, that's why I also wanted to have you on board, my brother. Thank you, bro. You know. Because, you know, at the end of the day, right, yeah. um, I thought to myself, I said, with SOL, who, who can, you know, who can actually, like, you know, vibe with me? Mm -hmm. And the reason being, me and you, mm -hmm. you know, like, our playlist is of the same. It's the same, bro. Yeah, and thanks for the gift, too, <laughs> you know. It's the same, bro, all day, you know. Yeah, um, me and you, you know, like, we can we can elevate the next generation it's, it's true. and we can make them listen at the end it's of the true. day. You know, I, I was, I was also wondering like, um, let's say you, you've, you've had, uh, you've had a Kampango Kakando like this, you know, me, any other person, I mean, just, I'm saying to the young youngins out there or any other person who's watching this, you know, but you still watch a big thing at your place. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I keep on asking myself and also asking the other guys out there, like, bro, does this relationship go back to being what it used to be, you know, even after cheating, you know? Yeah. Umepiga shugli, umekamtani, you know, your wife is there or your husband is there, but somehow you got a, you, you got the outside eye. Mm. Bro, like, uh, and then you, you told me, mm. ishugli ni wanaume, unajua? Yeah. Mm. Wanaume, Kuna wale wenzetu wa merusiwa kuwa za ibi ya bibi otano. Me, I come from a polygamous family, you know. Mm -hmm. And as the situation is, I see my, you know, my polygamous relatives living, you know, correct. Yeah. Alafu, any, unashindo tu kuelewa, you know. Yeah. And you like, at times, like, ah, oh, fuck this, bro, I'm not gonna do this. But at the end of the day, mm. no woman, no cry. Yeah. We can't live without them, mm. but we still want to live without them mm. so such is yeah. such is, such is life uh -huh. when i live in i want to speak yeah. you know like um i have again i hate to sound like a broken record <laughs> ladies and gentlemen i've been married before yeah there's nothing you know like i've been i've been to hell and back before mm -hmm. you see and I'm here, I can tell the story. Yes. And that's why you see what was the name we wanted to do for this for this podcast before? We wanted to G fourteen classify. Yeah. But then we were like, uh, that's gonna be a little bit controversial. Yeah. Let's do it to the syllabus of life. Yeah. And bro, it's more reason I always wanted to ask you. As much as we do ask each other a lot of questions, but there's some questions that I never asked you. Yeah. And I'm going to ask you in front of the camera because like... Let's hey, do it, yeah. Ulipiga wedding moja maze 2008. Yeah. I'm chilling, you know, watching <laughs> the chariots here and there, watching the Rolls Royce. Mm. I'm like, this nigga, 
this motherfucker. This motherfucker, don't be scared to say it, brother. This, this is GP18. I'm like, yo, twin. Yeah. 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 Bro, Missy, sign is of you too much. As a matter of fact, twin, they call AG. Let's go. <laughs> Let's yeah. do whatever. Bro. No cap, bro. Speaking from that experience, people say at the, once you get married, at there is security after you do a wedding. Because the come we stay marriages are actually not even, you know, supposed to be broken in any way, just like the, you know, the white weddings are. Yeah. In this sense, ume wana arusi, miss jawa na arusi, mi mwenyes jawa na arusi, watutu wetu wa shazeeka. Ume wana arusi, watutu, amja songa ata miezi miwili, you get. Would you maybe like to share the experiences from... You know your your flamboyant wedding. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something. Yeah. Forget the flamboyant wedding. Yeah. Forget everything. You know, like by law. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Last time I checked, mm -hmm. if you live with a shorty for six months. Three months actually. Three. Yeah. Thank That's you. That's your wife. Yeah. That's your wife. Okay. So let's start from there. Uh huh. All right. Yeah. So it doesn't matter yeah. how you guys did it. Yeah. If you so did the four did, point, yeah. yeah, I did it. You know, mm -hmm. one thing that I can do differently is I wouldn't have spent all that time. No, forget the money, bro. Money is nothing to me, bro. Yeah. Money is nothing to me, Steve. Yeah. But, you know, like at the end of the day, I spent so much cash, right? Mm -hmm. On one day just to satisfy and please people. Yeah. And then what did I get in return out of it? Taken, yeah, and you see, even in any business, right? Yeah. If you invest money into a business, right? Mm -hmm. You expect returns, of course, true? Of course. Yeah, so now this one, the returns, I wasn't even asking for money. I was asking for those people that I fed in my wedding, I those people that I, yeah, for them to even intervene and say, Prez, yeah. um, I hear you and Madame are not okay. Yeah. Like me as a brother, how can I come through? Exactly. Or like my ex-wife is friends. Yeah. Call her and ask her, yo, Mrs. Ngecho, uh -huh. or First Lady. Uh -huh. We hear like, you know, things are not good. Yeah, wild one, let's pull up, you see? Yeah. But none of them, bro, and I fade and I made them all drunk. And it was like when Jesus turned water into wine. I know, bro. That wedding in Galilee. Yeah, you know, for 24 hours, bro. I feel the plight, bro. And, yeah. and, and such, such, is the, such, is, such is the world that we're living in, you know. The syllabus of life, we're always coming through and saying, eh, hey, this situation is normal. Like, unapatole mse when you konai back to back, okay? The person that you really want to put up close, uyo ndi anakuseti That Such is life. And you know, like, listen, you know, um, Steve O. Yeah. To be honest with you, right? I just want you to use your personal experiences. I want me to use my personal experiences. Yeah. I want when we go live with syllabus of life yeah. for people to use their personal experiences. And then that way, you know, like normally people go to psychiatrists mm -hmm. and they pay. Okay, counseling or the counseling, mm -hmm. and then somebody has a box of tissue, yeah. you're in an office, right? And then they push cry. the box of tissue, they tell cry. you, you can cry in front of me. <laughs> and then they tell you, they tell you, open up your heart. Open so up. me, I won't lie to you, I'll yeah. be honest. There's one time I, I was seeing this psychiatrist, mm -hmm. but you know, the reason why I was seeing her is because number one, she was Italian and half mm -hmm. Russian, she was way older than me. Yeah. Way older, I mean like 10 years. But when I used to sit in front of this lady, like she used to satisfy me, bro. <laughs> because, you know, first and foremost, right? I used to think to myself, I'm like, whatever I tell this lady yeah. is in secret. Mm -hmm. She has no reason to go and say, you know, you I told Fred, so yeah. Uh -huh. And then, you know, plus, you know, like, so this is the setup, right? Me ni kwana ka hapa, alafu kulikuwa meza hapa. So she tells me, she comes and actually opens the door for me. Yeah. 
probably she's doing her job, but she opens the door for me. She's there, welcome, how are you? Mm -hmm. The accent killing you. The accent <laughs> killing me. And you know, like, bro, you know, like she's older than me, bro, but yeah. she's looking good, though. Of course. So, imaginations in my... Of course, bro. But you, you didn't try to tap the pen? I didn't try. I didn't. I mean, calculations in my mind, I want to tap <laughs> that, smash that. I hope she got a soundtrack. <laughs> So, you know, um, bro, hence SOL, and you see, yeah. like, you know, the beauty about this whole thing is, shout out to also, you know, like, the whole team. Of course. You see, um, us guys, we're here to fortify the youngins' minds. Yeah. And even people who are our age, you know, because, like you said, Ladies and gentlemen, I, I, I did a wedding. I hate to sound like a broken record, but I mm, did it. Though. You did it. And you know, everything I say, I back it up. Yeah. So watch me back it up. Back oh. it up, number one. Two. Back it up, number two. Back it up, number three. Back it up, number four. Back it up, number five. And we can keep going on and on. And but on. you see, I'm here now, and he's here now. He's here because he's been through his fair share in life. Hey, bro. Crazy money. You know? So, aside from that, I want us to switch from this topic because, bro, it's reminding me about the 4.5. I know, bro. And I mean Mike, and I don't mean the one that's in no, front of us. No, microphones, you know? Mm. <laughs> I mean, bro, so now you have to pick a customer, but the customer is expecting to be here. Oh, nice. Anyway, I mean, it's a story for another day, so maybe... It is. The most important thing, sorry bro, yeah. the most important thing if you're watching, right, listen, life is not complicated, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. We just choose to complicate it for ourselves, True. True. okay? True. Now, if you're in a relationship, okay, it doesn't matter if it's your brother or your sister or your wifey or your yeah. girlfriend or your clande. If you're a side chick, play your role, stick yeah. to your lane, stick. like Steve would say. Mm -hmm. There's no traffic on your lane. There's no traffic on your lane. If you if your main chick stick to your lane, don't be calling the side chicks. Of course. Okay, and if you're a side nigga, also stick to your lane. We we let our motors a shisha. Unajuta kama mchizi mukuja na mdosi. But again, somebody told me all wars that started in this world, they were started by niggas and niggas who were just jealous and trying to prove like they got balls more than the other niggas. So. Yeah, I I think I think that's just people who suffer from negligence yeah and you know like um you guys have to realize that um jealousy is human nature yeah you see even this social media thing that they put you guys on the map in mm -hmm. social media right you know most chicks who who are in a relationship yeah. after one year or so and i'm not bashing anybody right but you know you find i've seen so many of my friends mm -hmm. Like I see them, they look beautiful with the long hair. Yes. And then once they break up with their boyfriends, right? They cut their hair and yes. then you know, because they didn't tell me I broke up with your boy or so and so, yeah. I keep quiet because it's none of my business. Not... Next thing I see is a post saying, Short hair, don't care. And I'm like, so um short hair, if you really don't care, then why are you posting? Why are you telling everybody? Yeah. And then I call my like I said, they're my friends, right? Yeah. I call them. I'm like, yo, what's good? Are you okay? Mm -hmm. They're like, that motherfucker. <laughs> that bastard. And probably chances are yes. the person they're talking about is a person who's my boy. Of course. You understand? So social media like makes you open up to an extent whereby you don't need to share your emotions mm -hmm. because, again, nobody out <clears throat> there cares. cares. I remember this day we were busted by that cop. Around the center. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey. Well, we, oh, shout out to Weasel Tano Nani. By the way, Weasel yeah. was there with us and Filippo. Yeah. <laughs> so this cop is like, hey, go Jackie Dog. Hey, but please leave it pinned to my pig. Weasel. Again, shout out to Weasel. Shout out to Filippo. And Filippo, yeah. they were recording, they you were know. They were recording, they were lying to me. Me and that day I said, today. Not yeah, today. Yeah. You can't do. You can't do me like you did me yesterday. yesterday. So any, when I do them, not today. Mm -hmm. But then I knew the girl was not gonna take us anywhere. 
Because, yeah. bro, we're the protocol, bro. We are. So, bro, like, I'm always trying to bring it on board. And I'm saying all the time, the fun times that we've had together, you know, yeah. uh, the, the, the shows that we've always worked with and all. I mean, we're going to cheese to that. To the June Mental Health Month. Of course, for men, right? You know, you know why I'm so astonished about this? Is because, you know, apart from Father's Day, men are never given their days. Bro. Apart from Father's Day. Now, you know, nowadays, you know, like with the generation, right? Yeah. Um, there's no Father's Day no more. Mm -hmm. It's just baby daddy's day. Of course. Because, bro, you know, like, um, problem about me, I speak the truth, right? Mm -hmm. So, you see, like, I, I go to the club, I meet a beautiful lady, you know, and I say, hey, you know, like, like men, they age like fine wine. Of course. But, you know, like, I'm sorry to say, but for women, yeah. it's different. You know, a man, you can even be 70 years old as long as you got your guap right. And the mojo is back. Yeah. The mojo is back like you never left. But for a woman, it's not the same. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, to my women out there, to my sisters, my my everything, you know, like, yo, um, there you go. check it. Awezi kushinda na ndovu kukunya. Ndo you, bro. So, yeah. Yeah. Mm. And thank God this is PG-18. But my point is, like, you know, women shouldn't compare themselves. Like, if you have a man and you love him, love that nigga to death. To death. Yeah, in if that nigga sees that you love him to death, right? Yeah. That nigga is going to take care of you yeah. till death. Till you know? DIA, you know? The only way that nigga is going to change is if you show him, like, I don't have your back. Yeah. And then the nigga is going to start looking elsewhere. Now, for me, right, um, and I back up everything I say, the woman I got married to, Steve, you know. Of course. Yeah, I ain't going to mention her name. But, you know, we back up everything in SOL, so you're going to see the pictures mm -hmm. from back in the day mm -hmm. up to the day we got married, you know. Mm -hmm. And Vosti. Yeah. I did a 4.5 million, bro. I'm not capping. Bro, if no I'm cap capping, no I won't cap. say it in front of no, the that camera. That shows all over, Mazid. You yeah. know, front page covers of so, magazines. So, you know, I, I, you know, also with the same breath, you know, I want to wish my brother, you know, our brother, you know, Calligraph, it's his birthday today. Yeah, shout out to OG. Yeah, but this is pre-recorded, so yeah. you're going to see it. But happy birthday today. And happy belated birthday when this come out. Mm -hmm. Brother, you know, you're making Kenya proud. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We all gonna make it. Yeah, I fuck with you heavy, <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah. happy birthday. You happy know what I'm birthday, saying? Calligraph Jones. You know? And, and you know, like, don't forget, old boy is building a blood tart mansion. Yo, I seen it. You know, so um, the way people should take things is, you see, like, Otile, right? Yeah. Otile came from the ground up, you know? Yeah. Yeah, Otile, you know, at some point in time, people were mocking him mm -hmm. for whatever reason. Yeah. And Otile, you know, he maintained his composure. Yeah, he never, you know, went back answering them and all that. Yeah. Alafu kali akatoile ngoma akiambia wase, Kenya kwa msanini kujitolea. Ni kujitolea. But at the end of the day also, uh, as much as we speak of publicity... But Steve, let me finish my finish. point. Yeah. So Otile, they, they mocked him, right? But look at Otile now. Bro. Like Otile is in a level whereby even him and Noriega, his manager, can part ways in peace and they all wish each other success. Yeah. That's love, bro. You see, Kali... Kali said, like, you know, my manager is never going to change mm -hmm. because Kutoka High School, Ilukwa Nihom Chizi. And then, you know what Prez said? Mm -hmm. Prez said, Mazze, Steve O is not going to change <laughs> because Steve O will start this gangster shit. <laughs> and this the motherfucking tense we get. Bro, crazy stuff. So, you know, like in SOL, right? Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, this is the point whereby. 
like you know you have to like to the youngins yeah you need to be self employed mm -hmm. because when you're simple when you're self employed it's simple but Today, and I don't even have the grills. And today is crazy. Man. Yeah, but to be self-employed, right? You have to put in the work. Mm -hmm. You understand? To be self-employed, that means you can do anything, whenever you want to. Yeah. Whenever you feel like it, you understand? So that's the main goal. Be self-employed, mm -hmm. be your own boss, and run things. And then another thing I wanted to say is... I'm sorry if I'm talking too much. No, bro, you I could. just get excited when the camera, you could, no, this therapeutic, especially you know. especially S O L. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, like um, in life, right? Mm -hmm. Take everything as it comes, man. Don't be hard on yourself. Yes. You've been going through a situation lately. Yeah. We all know. Oh no, we don't all know. <laughs> I know. But you the know, the crew knows. The crew knows. Uh -huh. The inner circle knows. knows yeah. I've been going through a lot lately. Yeah. You know. The crew knows, yeah. but I'm here looking fresh and clean. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Jail Boy. Mm -hmm. All day. Every day. Yeah. So us guys, we have no script, guys. You know that's why we keep jumping from here to here to there to there to there. And all I want you guys to know is, like you know, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. This is the second episode. I cannot wait for us to go live because I know for a fact there's a lot of people who want to interact with Prez. Mm -hmm. And let's call a spade a spade. I introduced you. You are always behind the camera. Yeah. But also people now understand that Steve-O is the one who holds shit down behind the cameras. True say. And you've been through a lot in life to share your experiences. So my, I don't even want us to sit like this. Yeah. I don't want to have guests here. I don't, I don't want to have, any, I just want us to have an audience whereby, like Kibe. Kibe. <laughs> yeah, shout out to you, brother. You know, the reason why I'm bigging you up is because you're good at what you do. Yeah. And, you know, um, you're not in your feelings, like, you know, you, you know, you make life look so simple and easy. And that's what I like, you know, most importantly, I like your positive energy, so. Good vibes. What does he say in Kiku? He's like, <laughs> Yeah, I cannot say that in SOL because, you know, we're censored. Yeah, but Kibe, you know, shout out to you. You know, thank you for having me the other day on your show. You know what I'm saying? Like, some people didn't understand where I was coming from. Actually, I saw this post. This guy actually set his camera, right? Yeah. And then he put it in a way whereby he can focus. And he's like, Kibe, um, I would like you to understand I appreciate what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And this 100K, I have a couple of my recording artists who did their best and they didn't make it and then you had somebody like Prezo bringing his bitches Shit. I'm like get it right bro it's not bitches brother it's PAs personal assistants Assistance. so there's a difference between PA and personal assistant and this guy should really listen to Kibe because when this guy did the post right this guy was in his feelings mm -hmm. And then, you know, like, if you were smart, listen, brother, I know you're watching. This is SOL. It's called Syllabus of Life mm -hmm. in Life, right? If you wanted to achieve your goal, you shouldn't have said that. I have a couple of my artists who did a couple of songs for the Kibe show, and uh, none of them were recognized. Mm -hmm. So it shows that you're bitter. You know, it, 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 it shows that you're suffering from negligence. And then you keep mentioning my name over and over and over again. Prezo was there with his bitches. Okay, I can understand DNA. And Prezo. yeah, shout out to DNA, shout out to Wakadinali. Wakadinali yeah. is my goon, you know. Yeah. Yeah, DNA is my goon, you know, but mm. don't look for. This is where syllabus of life comes in. Once you said that, you know, all your respect just went from here 
yeah because nikao na machungu kwa sababu jamaa alikuwa na machungu juu wasani wake au kuchaguliwa yeah, yeah. now ndo wanafanya dunia ina go ina around ina yeah duara mviringo ni yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah so I I've also been thinking bro uh, I feel like I've been talking about that topic for a minute have I yes, I'm sorry are. bro but this is SOL though <laughs> Yes you are I mean Yeah kesko said So nilikuwa naulizia we've been making a lot of trips to Vihiga as well Yeah and the fact that we're in Vihiga I mean maybe time will tell you know mm-hmm. uh for 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 us as a country for us as a country where do you think this government is leading us with all this mental health situation sababu bro mimi natulia kejani hivi mazee squeeze hata so many emails bana because unaangalia email hivi mara size hizi nasikia imetoka 3% imekuja 1.5 sijui yeah. nini i mean as a president of course mm-hmm. backed up by the president himself yes no sir one. shout out you know? to nyayo shout out to nyayo mazee maziwa za nyayo kwanza made us strong like this yes sir you know what i mean so <coughs> history is to gava na venye na tukimbiza don't you think also it's making it heavier for the youngins juzi ni mone recommend venye amechachisha you know mm. <coughs> it recommend is saying a lot about the upcoming content creators Do you think the government is really trying to fight this mental health problem with what it is doing because it's crazy out here man Yeah um I I just think you know like I think there's so many things that are not in perspective Yeah there's so many pieces to the puzzle you see as a new government right before they gave so many promises mm-hmm. but then you see like when it comes to executing right Zero. Yeah, some things are easier said than done. Yeah. You understand? So the government I cannot blame the government because maybe they are trying to their level best. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. So me what I can say is let's give them some time. Mm-hmm. You, I But, want to I want you to put in that line. Mm. Uh, you know when unakatia dem nini nini you promised uh, <laughs> akshenge kejani jo mingia box unamuliza nani ndio ebui lete ure leta gani fit yani nasema eh ama ndo maana ama demo shinda wameua ma boys huko so una incentive bro you know kwa ufupi right no but you put it out good bro unaileta unaileta vizuri sana yani it's the truth isn't it yeah can i tell the people this is a soil bro so um i'd like you guys to know that I have my brothers who ask me questions behind the scene they're like so you know like the government promised us you know a b c d e f g bottoms up up bottom okay so i told i told my people i don't like to mention names because i respect people's privacy but what i what i told my brothers is you see a politician is like a man who's trying to get pum from a lady one time yeah when a man is trying to get pum from a lady even if there's no feelings the man will promise the lady the world and everything in it okay but once the man gets <coughs> once the man gets what he wants and then he disappears he so that's how i take the politicians you know in the politics Yeah and for lack of better words you know like um I like to say like condoms you know before a man uses the condom the man will go to heights to get the condom you understand but once he gets the condom and then he uses the condom and then he's done with the condom what does he do he throws it away so that's the same thing with our politicians whether you like it or not and me you know like me i got no reason to lie to nobody so that's how the politicians are Straight once they up. get once they get what they want before they promise us everything in the world and once they get what they want they I use see. us yeah, yeah and throw us like a used condom and hey, is is on my promises maze like eh hey. and if they don't believe us ask kibe i mean kibe was talking about the creative what that they The, the, the You're telling me when we're in the car. Don't act <laughs> like you don't know. Hmm? 
No, but we're talking about the post nut what? Huh? The post nut. I know, I know, but I ain't gonna say that. I'm not gonna say it because really, Kiba is Kiba. He's got his own show, and uh, at the end of the day, what we're doing, if mental health is kicking in, what you kick in, Vilena Far. We're gonna get some girls coming through, and we're gonna get some girls coming in to say whatever they have to say. Uh, we we want to do a syllabus of life that is polite, a syllabus of life that is key, neutral. You know, neutral. We're not gonna pick sides and say, "Oh, I'm a I'm a dame, I'm a dame." You know, I'm a jama, I'm a jama. So we have respect because you know one thing we share in common, bro. You're mama's boy, I'm mama's boy. God damn it! And we hella strict people who love society. You know. Yeah. So if we're gonna invite people, if we're gonna invite it to grow. The syllabus of life. Yeah. If you're a content creator, let's pull up to pick a show Z to let's let's yeah. share actually, experiences. You know. Actually, you're right because yeah. you know um here where you see us right yeah. with them they looking back at us right mm -hmm. we have a whole space so if you're a content creator and you're looking for you know space to look you know for shoots and everything highlight we straight up. Yeah, and you know, us guys, you know, we just want to elevate. Yeah. You know, we just want to elevate. So, holler at us as long as you have something to put on the table. Yeah. Then definitely we will take care of it. Yeah. What is born? So, how how they get to us is through the. The handles down here. Down here. Syllabus of life. Yeah. Instagram, everywhere. Facebook, YouTube. Yeah. Get. Yeah. direct no. <laughs> Leave no man behind. Yeah, I'll like the you. army. Like the army, bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> have you seen, Mr. Director, have you seen how big this guy's knuckles are? Yeah, bro, like me, Can you please zoom into crazy. his knuckles? Zoom into this guy. Zoom bro. into this knuckles. Zoom into the knuckles. I look, I look harmless, my guy, you know? Mm, 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 like, bro, mm, mm. he didn't pick up push-ups in a bag. And also, also, I'd like to tell everybody who can see the knuckles, yeah? Shit. I'd like to tell everybody who can see the knuckles that those knuckles can be taking care of, especially the ladies. Mkorogo itakubali, look at my knuckles. Mkorogo itakubali, all you have to do is come to McKinney Herbal Clinic and we'll take care of you, you know. And these fists will always take care of you. They're yeah. Not I'm nobody, so. And then, you know, we're heavy on the waistline too. Of course. What's understood doesn't need to be explained. So, bruv, yeah. you know, um, we don't want to boil the people. Mm. Um... What's your parting shot, bro? My parting shot is uh, for the for the mental health out here. Speak, Majua. We check out on a friend, call them, show love to your woman, show love to your mom, show love to your sister, show love to the females in your life because at the end of the day, gangsters need love too. Yeah. Peace. But point of correction, ladies and gentlemen, what Steve Warden say is, as long as they're showing the same love back to you. Life is like a mirror, you know, when you look into a mirror and you smile, you get a smile back. You get a smile when back. you look into a mirror and you frown, you get a frown back. You get a fucking frown back. So, you know, squeeze it at the for that Lama Samahani. Squeeze it is what it is, you know. You know, you reap what you sow. So, I, I'm sorry, I cut you short. <laughs> It's SOL, bro. You know, see rice equal rice. Is SOL? See rice equal rice? Give us your parting shot, bro, to Malizei Kitu. Nakamaka, see you on the next one. Probably, they should also tell us who we can bring on board, right? On the next show. Of course, yeah. yeah. Use the handles down there. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Actually, yeah, you see, that's the best thing about a team. You know what a team means, ladies and gentlemen? Together. Everybody. Everybody achieves. Oh. <laughs> we out. out Listen, here. so um, I want to shout out Bathes, mm -hmm. Bathes Kimani. Mm -hmm. Thank you, brother, for coming through with the whole team. I want to shout out um, Sebo mm -hmm. and the whole squad, Niwengi. I want to shout out Jailboy Stylus, mm -hmm. you know, uh, Bujal, you know what I'm saying? 
in Full House Studios. We in the building. And also I want to shout out everybody who took time to like, subscribe, and believe me, you know, no journey is easy in the beginning, but then let's work this journey together, okay? Yeah. I don't care if you love me or hate me, if you love Steve or hate him, if you love Moy or hate him, but you know, sooner rather than later, I promise you guys, I promise you, you're gonna love to love us. At the end of the day. And I got a good time, peace. But you got time. But I still got time for SOL. Exactly. I'll see you. It's SOL in the building and we're about to turn it up. To the ceiling. And it's a wrap. Yeah, good morning. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.